Welcome to Club Wisdom 8. Finally, I've managed to get the final edited video prepared for Vespa. I would suggest that um, you can get an idea of the situation Vespa is in at the moment. And perhaps if you want, if, if the job part, if you want to skip the job part of it, feel free. But apart from that, I think... Um, around the searching for the job opportunities in Shining Force at Vespa, I think there's a lot of information you can learn about the company to help you to understand what's happening with Shining Force. Um, this video as of release will be about three weeks old so please remember that um, there are more videos to come and more updates with where everything's going. Thank you very much Club Wisdom 8. Enjoy! After after seeing how this game will be released in the first half of 2022 and it looks like it was never planned really, the beta was planned for early 2022, I'm, I'm honestly a bit unhappy about that but at least I can relax more, at least I know the situation um, and that really wasn't what I expected considering Time Defenders came out in August so it should have been by the end of February, six months later, Shining Force should have come out, but no, they're releasing game, Vespa are putting games out every nine months, by the looks of it. Either way, we need to find out more about Vespa. I need to find out what happened with regard to their shareholders event. Did they make money for Time Defenders? Oh shites, they didn't. I guess not because they kicked out the CEO. They kicked out the CEO. I don't think, I guess they didn't. Vespa chairman Kim Jing Su, who created the global box office legend, was appointed as CEO. Decision to return to the front line of management with a will to strengthen responsible management. Vespa held a board meeting and appointed Kim Jing Su as the head. Damn it. After graduating from the Department of Computer Engineering at Seoul National University, yeah, that is the best one, I think. Um, CEO Jim Su King established Vespa. Yeah, aren't they going to say bye to the old one? <laughs> a, mo a mobile game developer established Vespa. So Vespa came in 2013 after working through Game High and CJE. And M. If I knew more about Game High, maybe and CJEAM, maybe the people who worked in these companies have some connection here to the making the game, those developers. Since then, Vespa has successfully successfully been listed on the COSDAC market thanks to that uh thanks to the success of just one game, King's Raid, and it recorded top sales in many countries. Japan, Taiwan. Thank you for calling Taiwan a country. I love you guys. Um, Hong Kong, Singapore, as well as Korea. So King's Raid actually didn't do very well outside of Asia by the looks of it. Wow. Since last March, he has resigned as the CEO to focus on game and content development and has served as the chairman of board of directors. The return to management. So he is the will of CEO Jin Su Kim. So, so someone else returned. Someone else returned to fulfil his responsibilities as Vespa's founder, major shareholders, intends to enhance corporate competitiveness. So, so whoever, I guess the old CEO is doing something as a chairman. He got some weird promotion but got kicked out. Oh no, I don't know if it went backwards or what. But former Vespa CEO Leo. Lee Wansu resigned for personal reasons. 
I don't think in Korea people resign for personal reasons. No one would resign. I think what happened will be... <laughs> I think the story is going to start now. Vespa's King's Raid Fall event. Why is it always King's Raid? What happened to the great time defenders? That was supposed to save the company. Okay, announcement of the setting of the base date for the extraordinary meeting. Right, announcement of the convening. Okay, so when is this meeting? Because I need... Okay, so shareholder determination date. Yeah, I get that. So, so November. So, so... I, I guess Time Defenders flopped big time. I wish the Lord good health. So is this the shareholder meeting? Lord, good health in accordance with this. Okay, so very Christian. Okay, so they're taking the notes. They did all this COVID-19 and what's the date? December 10th. So they had a meeting. They had an audit report and they probably talked about sacking their CEO. So the question is, what happened to their Q4? What happened to their Q... What happened to Vespa's Q... They didn't talk about Q3, so they did really bad. So Q3... Q3 must have been awful. They must have lost loads of cash. Q4, based on Time Defenders, must have been like the worst thing ever. So they didn't even bother putting the news out for that. And... And now they've gone silent. So it seems that if you ask me, mm, Vespa have got nothing. And you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go further to say that. Um, I'm gonna. I reckon that, based on what I'm seeing here, is that Vespa have lost and bled so much cash. They can't. They probably can't even. Um. They probably can't even mention their shareholder stuff. So, so I'm guessing, I, I'm really, uh, and maybe COVID has a relation to that, but my personal guess, honestly, is that um, Vespa are going to see Shining Force as the new King's Raid, and they're going to put everything into it. I, I don't think Vespa... I think I think Vespa's life relies on Shining Force. Now, because their King's Raid was successful in Asia, they want a game that's going to be successful globally. But I think pricing is going to be a hard one because I think they've noticed that buying the Shining Force IP is extremely, extremely dangerous because the types of people who played Shining Force, the old school people, you know, love shining the old shining forces a lot, and they're they're really against gacha stuff. So I, I don't know if Vespa can hold out and produce a game that is as fair as King's Raid. And as Time Defenders looks like it did really badly, I can probably produce info later. But as Time Defenders probably flopped, my idea is is that um. Shining Force is all they got left, and I have a bad feeling that they might, um, I wonder, we might get, we might get robbed, we might get robbed, um, I don't know, Be remember, uh, let me tell you, when, when Vespa made King's Raid, when Vespa bought King's Raid, um, that's it. They only just focused on that game. And that game did really well. Um, and Vespa, the gacha system and how much they charge has been really kind. And um, players are really happy with the game. Now, what, what is, what is a bit weird? What is it? What is so and and even now after like 5 years this old game they still talk about even though like most people watching this video have never played the game and 
and and they do they seem to care they seem to care about their customers but and and they do give their refunds back but the game is just not making the game is just not making enough money oh so there's an official cafe for the game hmm yeah and www.kingsraid.com so it could be should be shining force theoretically evil way i'm just confused i'm i'm confused it looks like what can vespa's new ceo do um i have a big feeling what's going to happen so king's raid makes the company look good but they didn't charge too much and now they're not making enough money because they've been focusing on the same game now that they have a good background with gamers is it is it going to be true is shining force if shining force was the king's raid of like 2017 then we would have loved the game but i can't be sure this new ceo is going to be fair to the consumers i i even worry that um because it's going to be easy to say it, the ceo is going to walk in the company and say look you guys spent too long focusing on king's raid just trying to bleed like suck all the money out of the game you didn't you you wasted too much time you weren't releasing other games at the same time and now you do it all in one go and now you're losing everything so now you need to really make games that make money and even if your games suck if you just charge all the whales a lot of money from the beginning then at least you'll recoup your losses that's my guess for what the ceo is kind of going to say um, and the CEO has to come with a different view to the old CEO. <sighs> so, again, I'm worried. I'm, I'm, I'm. Before I made this video, I wasn't worried at all. I was like, Vespa's great, and um, King's Raid is great. I had no idea that um, it reached a point where a CEO disappeared from Vespa. I um. And I also had no idea Hive made their own game and they don't, no one talks about it. I had no idea that um, a company uh, 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 like Vespers, I, I know Vespers American company made Catopia and it looks like this game was a flop because I've never heard of it and it's, it's released in 150 countries. I mean, that's, that that's great but you know let me tell you if this game did well honestly speaking if this game did quite well then maybe Vespa would be talking about it and why isn't Vespa talking about the the game that Hive made with um with the Sanrio company i mean it doesn't make any sense like like something is just not right Something is just not right. What? <sighs> so anyway, that's the news. Hmm. <laughs> Cocoon Games. Very interesting. So location, history. I understand the history. I understand the games. Very strategic. The life in the company. Got no idea what that's like. Strengths. Hmm. Good. If that pic, I, I'm looking if Shining Force is in his picture. I don't get the idea that Shining Force is there. But. But having song of war having all these games to work on they are going to be a busy company so i'm guessing maybe cocoon games really are too busy to be making shining force or helping vespa bombus might be another one and then there's super colony now wouldn't it make sense if some if the american company knows so much about would about shining force you'd I would have gone for Super Colony personally. So with regard to the company, it's very, very strange. 
they they don't even provide a website super colony very strange okay so literally i'm i'm coming to the end of trying to find out more about shining force cultures recruiting i mean i've i've oh well 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 what do we have here Twenty thirteen they bought the game in twenty thirteen, then they released it in twenty seventeen and they released probably a King's Raid two and then they also went in the stock market. They they had an award and is that time defenders most likely we can see right now I guess if we translate the page and it's not gonna work because it couldn't be bothered to put it in. But anyway, hmm, what I don't get is that they didn't do anything for 2021. And that wasn't Time Defenders or whatever. That's another game, most likely. Okay, so interesting, interesting. So Vespa are not doing very good on their website, I tell you that. Um, what's this? So this is um, King's Raid again. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm impressed with what they're doing for King's Road, so I'll leave that. And what else about their culture can they give us? Evaluation and compensation. Again, I can't click on it. Anything else to finish off? Benefits of working for them. Very nice. this was could it really be about beta testing tip what's a tip tip for what application tip maybe and I can't click on it again assessment center so so this is to get a job so it's really about job working with them so maybe this is all recruiting maybe Vespa okay so Gunnam that's where the company is so I think I've um I think I've I think I've pushed Vesper as far as I can. Um, I've I've tried everything. I've and looked into Hive, and I'm I'm I don't I don't know I don't completely think Hive have much to do with making the game. I don't I I think Hive is just there to make to reassure the Japanese. That the that Shining Force is connected to Japan, but I don't think Hive are. I think I think Vespa are making the game, but still Hive could be. Um, literally, they're not recruiting. It's hard to get recruiting. So yeah. So um. So overall, um. Out of all this. <laughs> I didn't make this game. Out of out of everything that's happened here, I'm 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 sorry to say that this game is going to be out by June, and and we need to see the first quarter shareholder meeting by this company. If it goes well, if Time Defenders made a profit, they're going to show what happened at the meeting. If Time Defenders m is a mess, then they're not going to reveal. So I think this is going to be a, I think, I already, I'm already sure, because otherwise in Q4, December, they would have said it already. So I'm, I'm already pretty sure that Time Defenders is pretty much a flop. So everything is on Shining Force. So that's Club Wisdom 8. And um, I still look forward to Shining Force. And... I, I, I honestly don't know what's going to happen, but let me give you another piece of advice about Shining Force. No matter what, ha if, if, if Vespa, if Vespa do very well with Shining Force, if there are loads of downloads and if loads of people play the game, 
I guarantee you Sega are going to re-release Shining Force 1 and 2, definitely, they're going to remaster it. That's going to be the first start. Sega are going to do that, not not them. So Sega are going to be making loads of cash re-releasing old Shining Forces as new games, just like Langrissa did, uh, the company, the original company did to Langrissa when Langrissa Mobile did well. So Sega are getting free advertising, they're going to re-release, and eventually Sega might release... Uh, a re they might remaster Shining Force 3. I think there's a high chance it's going to happen. Everything is being copied these days, just like repackaged. So let's see how Shining Force goes. I say support it, support it a bit for the point that um, for the point that Vespa gave it a go. Someone someone tried to upgrade the original. The problem with Gacha will be if you want the storyline, it might not be enough storyline or it might take too long to get there or you might need to pay money. So so think about everything, but um, please, yeah, please try and support Shining Force. Okay, thank you. Club Wisdom 8, over and out. So what's left for Vespa after, like, after, after knowing about their internal drama? I mean... Where 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 are we left? What can we do? Um, is there any chance we could do any beta testing? I mean, what what what? And will the beta testing take place in Japan? I, I haven't been on the recruit section yet, but yeah, I think this will be uh, hard to use. However, there are some interesting points. I have tried before the um. Yeah, I have tried some um, translation on on those other things that didn't work but maybe it'll work here next sighting isn't that the time defenders okay 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 who's shining force oh yes oh yes now now we're getting somewhere so am i gonna find what's going on this keeps happening so I can no longer translate their pages. Something's really gone wrong. Okay, I, I've I've figured out the problem. The problem is is that you can't actually click on the words, so there's nothing I can do. But next sighting. Now Cocoon Games, I don't think I've ever heard of them. We craft mobile strategy games for hardcore gamers. So the question is so next sighting made time defenders. Cocoon games. I need to check what is that game. Give me a second. Having looked, it I don't think that game, if that is a game, is Shining Force. So Time Defenders next sighting. So Hive. Is that game Shining Force? Having checked, that game doesn't look like Shining Force from the Shining Force I have, so that's a bit weird. Um This is interesting, Global Top Tier, Bombus, but Super Colony, Catopia Rush, so this is the American company. Now, if there was any way I could find out more about this, if I could click on these words, that would really help. Anyway, um, at least I, I know the limit to their, their companies. My idea would be if they craft, if Cocoon Games do mobile strategy, maybe Cocoon Games have a bigger impact on Shining Force than we think. So maybe we need to look into that. Something unusual about Cocoon Games is the acquisition by Vespa. No wonder why Vespa are losing money, but it was in 2019. So after they went on the stock market, they... So it seemed that they didn't have money. So by going on the stock market, they managed to have all this money to make all these purchases now and the point that cocoon games seem to be in the same place as well in seoul but vespers in gunnam i i i do wonder if um i i really wonder if this guy has if their little ceo has any connection like to shining force so let's try and see their website, which is unavailable. That's a bit weird. Um, founding date 2013. Engaged in the development of mobile games. 
lists featuring in this company. So, I mean, I don't know their background. I don't know what Cocoon Games have done. But very interesting. Well, something interesting has come up. Cocoon Games, they finally have a website. And, um, and I must say, it's very nice as well. Do I get the feeling that Cocoon Games are the ones who made King's Raid? Like, they, they, that are, the, no, they can't be. I, I tell you why they can't be, because it was acquired in 2016. So, I, I, I don't, I, I think Cocoon Games, they, they didn't even make Time Defenders. Hmm, global. So let's have a look. Can we translate this page? Yes, good, good. Show us, show us. It's a place where people who dream of becoming the world's best, okay, developer of something, gather. Our products are created by breathing with our customers. These sound like the people making Shining Force. We are developing games with the sincerity of craftsmen. Stitch by stitch. Okay, I, I feel, I feel good. I feel good about this company. Games. Immortals. Immortals 2019. Never heard of it. Marching Legions. Okay. I'm so uh, so Vespa purchased them so did marching legions well I must say making shining force with regard to the mechanics would be would have zero problem for this company is there anything with regard to the career can I is there anything we can gain with these guys jobs in career can they give me are they making shining force Sound of it. Game production. Okay. T show me what's going on. Game planning. How many jobs are there for games? Damn it. This is interesting. Sales and sales. Damn it. Okay. Uh, let me think about this. I couldn't. Can I really write? I'm going to write. I'm going to put in Shining Force in Korean. So now that we understand a lot more about Sega with regard to Hive and Vespa and where I think Sega if you saw the update where I how I think Sega are intertwined with us we're now going to put everything together now in the next video and come to a conclusion on what's going on and I'm going to say that um if you can already see the direction Vesper is going, unfortunately, it's not a pretty picture. See you soon, Club Wisdom 8. Okay, so I've got I've got Shining Force. Let's see. Let's have a look. Okay, this is Shining Force. I've just typed it in. Okay. Okay. Oh, change it to English. Oh, that's weird. Is that the com... Okay whatever any any clues search zero items okay nothing not so nothing to shine what about if I was to do just that bit that's probably shining for us any connection no game client what so are you you're literally telling me there's 924 jobs very confused major company Okay, so, wow, wowzers, there's, this is crazy, so many types of jobs here, mobile game, search for zero selected items, so, so really, could I just like do that and press search or something, so select an occupation, game production, can, can I find anything though? No. Okay, so either way, um, marketing and media. Well, Shining Force is going to need media and it's for a game job. Maybe you guys can work for these companies. They clearly need help. And we don't, we want to work in Gunnam. Don't we now? Where's Gunnam? 
You just want to work for Vespa. But uh, nothing there. Uh, Gangnam is in Seoul, though. Yeah, Gangnam. Gangnam Gu. Yep, give me a job. Alright, give me a job in Gangnam. If I can find a job in Gangnam with a mobile game. No, Gangnam. Just give me a job in Gangnam. That'll do. Yeah, job, please. Oh, here? Oh, shites. They're all here. Search for zero selected items. So these are all the jobs. Okay, so background leveler, this, this, this. It's in English. Okay. Let's just, um, 40 each. Forget that. Okay, 40 is the most. Okay. Let's quickly, um, let's try, let's try, let's try, um, where's Shining Force? Let me type Shining Force. Nope. Made that wrong. How do I? Control F, no? Are you finding page? Yes. Shining Force, please. Okay, Shining, not there. Let's keep it going. Where's the next one? Shining Force, again. Nothing. Alright, not looking good. So, either way, game job 